This is a product video for Arlon's SLX Plus, and here are the details. Product name, SLX Plus, film type, premium gloss, white cast film, liner, low profile airy grass with flight technology, widths 30, 48, 54, and 60 inch, roll lengths 25 and 50 yards, thickness 2 mil, and here are the uses. The lot number can be found on the outside of the box as well as the core tube. Before printing, be sure to go to arlon.com and download the right ICC profile for your printer. SLX Plus is compatible with the following inks. And check with the print manufacturer regarding proper outgassing times. For laminations, use only the 3200 series over laminations as these are premium cast. And for extended warranty and PVC free lamination, use series 3310. For making cutout shapes, Standard plotting methods can be used, and for production regarding trimming and rolling up panels, standard methods can be used as well. For the install, the first step is to use a general cleaner to remove the dirt from the surface. Be sure to put extra focus on the edges, and this can involve opening doors, hatchbacks, and in this case, the hood. Once cleaned, degrease the surface with 70% isopropyl alcohol going back over the edges if the section is open, and then getting 100% coverage on the main surface. If the vehicle has deep recessed areas, take extra time and focus to make sure these areas are clean and contaminant free. With the cleaning done, sweep away any dirt from the vehicle. The last step is to fill out a pre-inspection sheet. This should document any damage on the vehicle as well as determine if the paint is OEM. What makes SLX Plus different than SLX is that it has a slightly higher initial tack, which means that it can be applied at lower workspace temperatures while still performing well at high temperatures. The first step is to remove any excess film with the backing paper on. Next, make a temporary hinge to hold the panel in place. Remove the liner part way and Cut it with a snitty. SLX Plus has flight technology on the adhesive, which means that it can be easily repositioned by the installer. Once in place, make a permanent hinge with a squeegee stroke, and the immediate tack of SLX Plus means installers can then pull with good tension to glass out the film. Once set, use firm overlapping squeegee strokes to set it on the surface. For curves, spread the tension out using the triangle technique. This can often be done at room temperature. If needed, add light heat, then spread the film out to the edge. Once the film has reached the edge, a good tip is to pick the film back up and heat it again to trigger the memory effect so the edges are relaxed. Always click the blade before cutting and cut the corners first in order to have enough excess material to set them up wrinkle-free. Once the corners are cut, angle the blade away from the edge in order to get enough excess film that wraps around and then always seal the deal with a finger or squeegee. For large panels and two installers, the entire liner can be released. Then align the panel to preset marks and making adjustments can be easily done due to the low initial tack. Once in position, lock it in with squeegee strokes. And for recessed areas that are open-sided, like at the bottom of this van, be sure to pick the film up and feed it in. This means that there is almost no tension in this area, which helps with long-term durability. For cutting in between brakes on the vehicle, cut on the empty side. This means there will be about one quarter inch of material that can then be formed onto the solid side. Leading with light heat will help the adhesive set on the body quickly. For texture surfaces on rocker panels, use a roller and heat to conform the SLX completely. For wheel wells, first heat the film to soften the adhesive and relax the PVC, then form it in. The adhesive will quickly set on the edge, which means that the excess film can be cut away immediately. If applying a second panel on top of another one, wipe down the edge of the panel to remove any marks from handprints, then align the next panel. Overlaps should be between a half inch to one inch wide, then apply the standard methods. Cut the liner away, 
expose a section of the adhesive, flip it over, and lock it onto the body in the right position. Once the section is locked in, remove the entire liner, make any adjustments which are easy due to the flight technology, then lock it onto the surface with firm overlapping squeegee strokes. If there are deep recessed areas on the vehicle, use series 3210 overlaminate as it is the thinnest Arlon cast overlaminate. Always apply the deepest part of the recessed area first using an Arlon application glove. Once the recessed area is set, squeegee the flat area last. Before going on to another section, use a hard roller in combination with a heat gun. Let the heat lead the roller and press the SLX Plus firmly onto the surface. If bubbles occur during the installation process, simply press them away with a finger. When a section is completed, go over the entire area with heat to check for bubbles and self-heal scratches. If you are using SLX Plus for cutouts, note that it weeds cleanly. Also, pre-mask adheres well to the surface of the liner. With the flight adhesive, large cutouts can be quickly applied by removing the entire liner and once squeegeed, the pre-mask can be removed right away due to the new adhesive of the SLX Plus. Note that SLX Plus can be formed to extreme compound curves like this mirror. Using light heat, soften the film, then spread the tension out around the curve. At the end of each section or at the end of the day, post heat at 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Be sure to post heat all recessed areas, compound curves, and any edges where the film was stretched. For maintenance after the job, clean on a regular basis and avoid using waxes. Always remove the graphics within warranty to ensure the cleanest removal. And for more information, you can go to arlon.com as well as follow Arlon on Instagram and Facebook. This has been a product video for Arlon's SLX Plus. Proudly produced by the Rep Institute.